Oh no. Oh no, are you kidding me? I don't wanna go like that. <laughs> Good fight, bros. And that's the season done for me. Are you kidding me? That's actually a joke. Wow, whatever. Yo, what is the beautiful people? Welcome back to yet another video. And this video is going to be a follow-up video to the videos I watched recently from Manked Up Mage and Abyss. I'm gonna leave their links and especially the links to their videos in the description below if you wanna have a watch at their perspective of the Deadman Mode season. And I decided that I want to do my own and I want to voice my opinion as well because at the moment Deadman Mode is far away from what I and from what many others would want it to be. Now I have a notepad on my side that I'll be consistently looking at and I have a couple of key topics that I will um, talk about. First one being XP cap, second one being quests, third one being item prices, fourth one being no reason to play the season, like literally there is just the qualifying is way too easy. And the uh, fifth one being that money is hard to get. And the sixth one we're going to be touching on donations. Just so you know about what we're going to be talking about. Um, if you have some of your ideas that you want to discuss about Deadman Mode, leave them down in the comments. And I will be replying to most of the questions. Um, if they're not consistently repeated questions or whatever. But yeah, let's touch on the first topic, which is experience cap. XP caps at the moment are just broken. It is nearly impossible to get kills early on. Uh, unless you go for the mage route and you take like mad donations and you have a lot of money and you can kill all the people with let's say tomes of fires and fire fire spells if you don't have that at the start you are not going to be able to kill anyone and no matter what build you go maybe if you go with dds and you're fast enough to do to, to the, to the dds and then you have still some stats on the other people early days you are not going to be killing people simply because the xp caps are just way too low right now or uh, as Mank said in his video, um, defense XP should be capped. It's either one or two, like cap defense XP or increase XP caps in general. Now, I'm the type of person that prefers not to have XP caps at all, but I mentioned that in the last video and a lot of people uh, were like, dude, you're a fucking retard, you know, dude, we, we don't have time to play the game as much as you. Uh, and I do understand that, but I still stick to my word, because if you don't have XP caps, then you have people playing the game mode all the time. People want to train, people want to get the best stats in the game. You have people like Robert that want to go 99 attack strength and just DDS people out. You have this variety of builds that make Deadman mode interesting. As soon as you introduce experience caps, what you end up having is either rag rangers, that are basically builds that have defense, range, and let's say, I don't know, 55 magic or whatever, not even that. When, and they just run around with the hides and the rune kite shield and just bolt you to death. Uh, well, basically, they just waste your supplies. Um, and you have people in magics that wear full mystics, usually Tome of Fire, and they have uh, fire spells shooting at you. Um, and those guys, well, it's really hard to reach that stage. Because, well, we're gonna touch on that later, but money is way too hard to get. So getting to that stage, you need to take donations. And it's just... Or you get to PK at, like, day 5 if you don't take donations, or in day 4. Because you need to run Agility Pyramid for, like, 6 hours or something stupid like that. And, uh, well, by then, Deadman Mode Season is just about dead. At least at the current stage. So what people end up doing is they take donations, they PK in that build... And, you know, they can get a couple of kills or whatever. But in general, XP cap at the moment is just horrific. Uh, so you either make it so money is extremely, extremely easier, way, way, way easier to get. So everyone can PK in like, uh, let's say, fire strikes or fire spells and tomes. Or you remove XP caps and make it like, um, I don't know, so people can actually have unique builds and actually kill someone in even in banks for example now i didn't even mention this but bank fighting in general should probably be removed from deadman mode in my opinion people should always be fighting outside of banks just the whole aspect of being able to bank while fighting is just weird uh, i think Mank touched on that like being able to teleport to a one by one spot where you can bank regear and then teleport them back out that could be very interesting for uh for deadman mode in general and all these bank fights that are just absolutely boring to watch absolutely boring to do especially with xp caps you just put protect from melee up and nothing happens um i think that could be interesting just not being able to bank fight anymore but i guess that's also a part of deadman mode so uh at the same time i kind of want it to stay i don't know i'm very 
it's very weird when it comes to that and when it comes to taking decisions about the changes about the Endman mode because I, at this point, would genuinely play whatever they decide to do, but they just need to introduce the change. Uh, having season after season after season being completely the same is just, uh, is just, let's say, not the most fun to play. Now, let's say that's about XP caps. Now, you, I, could, I could just be talking about it for freaking 10 minutes, but you get the general point of it. The XP caps right now are either too low, uh, they need to be increased, uh, if they were removed, for example, it would be even better for players like me, but worse for players that are, I guess, casual, but it would definitely increase the player base playing it. Um, and I guess that's just TLDR about XP caps. I just don't like the, the idea of them. That's why tournament is just so much interesting. Let's say you do Slayer route, you get all the levels, you can do progress about it, even if you're not a PKer, you know. And, uh, but yeah, I guess XP cap will most likely be staying in deadman mode, so we need to do something about it. Let's say lowering the defense XP cap or hiring the, or, or, and, and like, like, how do you say, like making the XP cap in, let's say, strength, magic, and range higher, so it can be more easy to kill people early days, for example. All right, let's move on. Quests. I guess Jagex realizes that nobody likes to do quests on Deadman mode, so they are giving us free quests one week into the into the season. Why not give us the important quests one day into the season? You know, I'm coming fresh out of Deadman mode tournament when I'm grinding 7 days, 20 hours a day. The last thing I want is log into a season and do uh, 3 no village, grand tree, monkey madness, avs accumulator, king's ransom quest. Uh, and, and, it's just, and like Nitti's not Helm quest at the start of the season. That's like the last thing in the world I want. Quest should be auto completed day one. Uh, this is probably a poll worthy question. I'm, I guarantee you, if I make a poll right now and I say, do should quests be auto completed day one in Deadman mode seasons? I guarantee you 90% of the people would vote yes. And those 10% people who voted no either never played Deadman mode, never did quests, or just voted no because they're edgy. Uh, I'm guaranteeing you like 100% of people would be down to have the quests completed day one. Not all of the quests, but the most important ones. The Avas, the Needy's Not Helm, the, 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 the Dragon Scimitar quest chain, and I guess the Piety quest, but if they uh, end up uh, introducing the defense XP cap, then the, then the Piety is not really needed to be completed, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, quests need to be completed day one. If you disagree with me, please let me know in the comments why, and I'll try to find a reasonable freaking, I don't know, to, to, to agree with you, but at this point, nobody wants to do Monkey Madness 20 times in a row, like nobody, and I, I refuse to believe that someone actually goes into the season and finishes all the quests each and every time and is completely fine doing it. I, 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 I don't know, man, I, I will shake that person's hand, like literally, because I hate it. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's move on to a very simple one, item prices, like who the fuck wants to pay 6 billion for an unfinished broad, broad arrow and that was, is still not changed, you can have a full key of items being rock climbing boots, each one being 70k, mist runes, freaking feathers, um, uh, unfinished broad arrows, uh, unfinished uh, broad bolts, you can just stack your bank in shit items like that and your key is gonna be worth uh, 60 billion but in reality, not even one coin. Uh, so, absolute joke how these prices can be manipulated that much, and it should never be the case. Um, maybe just assign the big ticket item like insane value or whatever, because Mystic sets are worth like 7k. You know, freaking 10 fire runes protect over a Mystic set at this point. Like, whips are 70k. If you have whips in bank and someone kills you, nobody will ever get that whip, like ever. You need to die like 7 times in a row and drop 10 feathers from your bank for the whip to actually appear. It's actually a joke right now and it needs to be changed, like it, it ruins the, the fun of opening keys once you kill people, because you end up getting unfinished broad bolts and 9 billion worth of key. Like, I don't know how they let this slip through and nobody updated it and we are over one week and a half into the season and that's still a problem. Moving on, no reason to play the season. What do I mean with that? Um, you can create a 6 hour account, uh, pre-buy the items, let's say, on your main, and fully qualify 1.2k total on an account in 6 hours with ease. I mean, like, chilling. You can be sunbathing and playing with left hand, and you, uh, you, can, you will still reach 1.2k total level, and, uh, you know, if you just have the items, which you can buy on main, if you play beforehand or whatever. It's just 
no point like what how is this reasonable just like the, it should never be total level at all like there should be other ways to qualify your accounts um but uh, this total level thing is just so boring but i think they're working on it so i'm not gonna give i'm not gonna go too hard on that i think they're working about that or, or introducing new ways to get into the tournament um so i guess that's good and whatnot but another thing that i think is either transfer the stats from the end of the season into the tournament that would encourage people to play season all the way through either just stats no need to transfer the gear or quests or whatever just transfer stats at least or if you don't do that at least transfer it to world 45 right now 45 is a like dead server but if after every season you would transfer accounts from seasons into the into the world 45 that would relieve the world 45 new people would come in new items would come in it would be interesting uh right now what we have is just like completely resident sleeper world 45 with like 50 people playing at max and it's just not interesting but if we have consistent new people coming in uh and you know let's say they get like up to whips up to dark bows in the uh, in the season then in the in the world 45 they can for example start like i don't know doing zora things like that and you know uh, we can relive world 45 like that and um I guess that could be, I don't know, interesting to progress from season into the world 45 or whatever if they can't do it into the tournament. But that's just my opinion. There's like absolutely no reason to play season all the way through. It's just not interesting. No players, lack of updates. Um, so yeah, that probably needs to change. Uh, but I think they have issues transferring stats from like game mode to game mode. So I don't know what they're going to do about that. Probably nothing. Let's be serious. But that would be definitely interesting change and could well may get more people to play 45 for example at least um, so season would be worth playing for example but yeah the next one is a big one money is too hard to get um and what, what what i mean with that and i'm gonna combine that with donations is if you're a streamer if for example me uh, for example abyss you can just grab donations from people not to mention that the people that give you donations are most likely quitting when they give you money so instead of those people giving you money, actually playing the season PKing, they give you money and they quit, right? And you then have so much money and so much gear that you can kill everyone who's still trying to get that gear and trying to get that money that you're basically destroying game mode, whatever. It's a, it's a self-destructive game mode, but still taking donations and killing people that are still trying to get to the point where they can PK is bad for the game like really bad for the game and those people who are trying to get the money get the money too slowly they introduce the emblem drops i guess that's fine that gives some money into the game but there needs to be just so many more supply drops so much more money flowing in uh there needs to be a shop that sells you mystics that sells you stuff if we go into the easy escape deadman mode we might as, as well go into the full noob friendly deadman mode where everyone would be pking when everyone would be having money um because right now what we have is just like, I, I don't even know, like it's just this season in general is just so boring. And what people end up doing is they need to have an, let's say, agility pyramid account and they run agility labs for freaking five, six hours to get money to PK once. And then if they die, do you think they're going to go back to agility pyramid and run six hours again? No, they're just going to quit. And uh, I'm the same. I died in the multi, got speared. Like it was a really new move for me. But I just didn't feel like regearing and like it's just no point. There was nobody playing anyways. Really hard to find people. And I was killing people, killing black blue dragons anyways, because like there was nobody to find. And the only person I could kill with the stats XP cap was the people that were AFK. So um they need to introduce better ways of making money. They tried doing that with the emblem tier fives. I guess they kind of succeeded, but they there needs to be more more supply drops. There needs to be more. I guess if they want to do it emblem way, there needs to be more emblem drops. There just needs to be more money making methods in general. Like let's say when you're capping out stats, I think Manked touched on that or Abyss, either one or two. I, I watched both of the videos. I'm not sure which points both of them provided, but when you're capping out your stats, you should already get uh, let's say some supplies so you can. Uh, I don't know, do a couple more things and boom, you're already PKing or something. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, and then the next point was donations for me. Um, but then again, I guess I already touched on that. It's either you completely remove donations or you allow swapping again. I guess I should add swapping to this 
Like, if you allow streamers to take donations, but solo players can't swap for money, then what are you making? You're literally ruining people that are solo playing and trying to get something done. Like, it, it, not to mention, there's so much behind the scenes swapping, it's just a joke at this point. Like, people still swap, so you might as well just allow swapping, because they have been banning people for it, but in reality, I don't even want to tell you how many times I got hit up on, let's say, Twitch, and they're like, oh, dude, can you sell me uh, freaking uh, Deadman Mode Gold? I'm going to give you, I don't know, one week after in, in 07 or whatever, so Jagex will, there will be no way they are going to figure it out. They're not stupid, but there's so much behind the scenes shit going on. Like, even in tournament, people have been, people were swapping for the gear, like, left and right, and I don't think they were punished for it. And I'm not going to throw out names, even though I know a lot of people who did it, and um, it's just, uh, it's just, it, it, it needs to stop, like, it's either you allow swapping, you allow donations, or you completely start banning, and I'm saying banning people for long times, uh, that do swap and that do, and that do take donations, so I think the easier way out is to allow swapping again, and allow donations, and then people will be happy, I guess. Um, but yeah, this video was getting long, man. I could talk about it for a really long time. That's why I'm gonna have an open discussion in the in the in the comment section. Let me know what you think about Deadman Mode. What would you like to change about Deadman Mode? Who knows? Maybe your voice will make me make another video, and we're gonna talk about your idea. I don't know. Uh, but leave your suggestions, leave your thoughts in the comments. I will reach out to you. I'll have a conversation with you. Um, I'm gonna be leaving for home. Um, uh, today, so, um, you know, I won't be able to upload a video for a couple of days, but I will definitely be responding to all the comments and uh, trying to get a conversation. Boys, let's make Deadman World great again. This is the game mode I freaking love, but it's getting absolutely ruined by the lack of updates, let's say, and the lack of uh, community speaking up and, uh, you know, wanting the change, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess a bit of a renty video. I don't even know how I'm gonna upload this, but uh, I guess I'll just put it out there. And if people don't like it, I am sorry. We're gonna get back to the normal content uh, in, let's say, a couple of days. I'm gonna chill a bit and uh, yeah, have a good uh, summer holidays, my beautiful people. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.